there, this is Mariah with 50 Flowers. Today I'm going to show you how to design with a Holly Chapel compote and egg or pillow. I've heard it called both. So I am using, I believe this is about an 8 inch compote with a matching egg and I am just going for a very gardeny vibe. I've got my flowers and greenery here. The first thing I'm going to do is tape this egg into place. That has been my most effective way of using it. I like, maybe I have a hard hand when I design, um, but I notice it moves a little bit, so I wanna just give it one little line of support here. I'm gonna go underneath, and I'm just gonna add two little strips right on those tape lines to help anchor them in place. Okay, what you're gonna wanna do next is add your water to the vase. Try and get it up to the top there. Perfect. All right, the great thing about these pillows is it's an easy way to make what a chicken wire form could do, but it's easy to buy and you don't have to mess around with the wire. So I'm gonna start by putting my greenery in first like I always do. And I don't have my snips. Now I have my snips. Awesome. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and start poking these in. This is where in my mind I find how I want this design to go. And as I'm looking at this, I know that I want to break that stem apart and I want to bring that over there. And maybe I'll bring these here. I think that's going to be my front. Got some awesome eucalyptus here. So I'm going to break this apart. Use it all over this face. Oh, perfect. See, and he doesn't want to go down and out. So I'm just going to break him off and I'm going to poke that in there and I'm going to poke that over there. I love these vases because you can get so creative and it just reminds me of some old, you know, floral designs that we may have seen like in the 1800s in Europe and I love that design that just like effortlessly gathered from the garden look. Okay, get a few more in here. It's a good smell of eucalyptus. Awesome, I'm poking it all around. Get some fresh stems in there. Okay, get some of those greens off of there. Awesome, see that shape it's taking? I'm making this more of a one-sided arrangement and that's why I focused with these greens up here. But I wanna make sure I fill this all the way out. And next we're gonna add our grass. I'm gonna go ahead and just snip all of it at once. Cause I'm gonna place it all right now. And there we go. Together, but also making it look like they're still together in their place. Perfect. All right. And normally if I was taping or if I was like hand designing this, I would put a lot more greens to make that grid. But because I have this egg in here, it's already doing that for me. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding some flowers. about a vase like this is they're kind of short so you have to play around to you know make sure your stems are going to be in water the entire time that you need them to be but that they also aren't just like flopping out because that's a trouble with short stems that they have a tendency to just kind of like go flat and want to come out of the vase and I'm placing my nice bushy stuff first 
because I want that to kind of set the stage for how this is going to look. Okay, I'm keeping one sided. I'm focusing these up front here. Let's put some more of this in. Mounded up flowers, I just love them. Okay. Kind of coming out there. I'm going to save him for the end. Now I'm going to start with some laterals. And I'm just going to start poking. There we go. And you can really lay these flat because that wa this cage is holding them up at the very top, but there's still water hitting my stem, even when I place it almost at a completely uh, horizontal position. And yes, I did just have to remember which way is vertical and which way is horizontal. No judgment. All right. And... It's too long. see the front of it, but I can tell that I already like it. Okay, we're just gonna... Just what the heck? There we go. Alright, and I like mixing up my laterals. I just think it looks cool. That's the cool thing about designing flowers, is that you can do whatever you want, because they're your flowers, and it's your design, and you're having fun. So I'm going to make sure that he's not too parallel with these snapdragons here, that they're kind of complementing each other. Oh, he is so perfect and drapey. Look at that. Oh, they married each other. Stick them in together. This like this look. I don't know how to describe this, but it is a feeling that I have when I'm arranging a lot. My flowers mimic movement and feelings. Okay. See, we don't need little bits like that. They are just gonna suck up the water that should be going up to these. So we trim them. And there we go. Alright. I'm gonna focus on some other flowers. That is a beautiful focal flower. I want, yes, I want that to be there. And maybe, let's just experiment here. Let's just see how that looks. Let's make you see. Bring him a little lower. Because I don't want him to compete too much, but I want him to kind of stand out. Like I said, this is an effortless design. This is something that you don't need to think too hard about your traditional flower ideas because this is not that arrangement anymore. And maybe some old flower teacher would have smacked my hands for it and that's when I know I'm doing the right thing in my design. them up. Perfect. And just start making the front of this arrangement. And just placing wherever I want. Hopefully wherever I want. Maybe the compote's telling me that. Petals are totally natural. Just mean your flower was protected. Oh, perfect. Alright. Yeah, so we've got that hole up front, but I have been saving that for these flowers. 
gonna do a nice little bunch up in the front. I love the way concentrated flowers look. Focused on the front here just to show you how to do it, but you would repeat the same process on the back. I can show you what I've got going on here. You just bring some more of these flowers towards the back and that way it's viewable from all sides, but I am keeping this high-low coming out of the sides. And there we go. That is how you design with a Holly Chapel compote and egg. If you want to know more about the Holly Chapel compote and egg, be sure to comment below and tell me what you need to know. I would love to share my thoughts with you. If you have advice to give me, comment below as well. I love to learn new things because knowledge we have is knowledge we share. Thank you for watching.